Hey, it's your boy Angie Gavin, back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to pick your niche for YouTube when you start your channel. So this is a really important uh, topic because obviously, you know, if you're not picked the right one in the beginning, uh, it's really, really hard um, either to make money because you might be in a niche that doesn't make money or you've already started and then you just have to restart and then you don't want to do that. You want to... Um, Follow these points that I'm going to highlight. Uh, so then this is going to give you a better understanding of what you really uh, should do. Uh, and then you don't have to backtrack. All right, guys. So let's uh, roll that intro and let's get into the video. Hey, guys. Um, thanks for coming back and watching this new Grow Your YouTube series. And um, this is all about making money on YouTube. So uh, because I was absent on this channel for, geez, over a year, I didn't even know it was that long. I've been off doing other things. And one of the things I did was make a YouTube channel. I grew it pretty big. So I learned a lot of those things. And that's what I'm doing with this Grow Your YouTube series. So at, at the towards the end of this uh, video, I'll show you examples and I'll break them apart very quickly on how these people are making money. These are just, you know, YouTube channels that kind of like I follow. All right. So the first thing that um, when you uh, start your channel and start your um, that you want to grow, this is going to take a long time. OK, it's not a get rich quick, but the benefits are can be amazing. Um, if you stick with it long enough, this can provide a full-time income and you know the YouTube as I've seen over the years that have been doing it for a long time I mean they're making seven figures multiple seven figures from just YouTube, which is amazing So it's definitely a business model that is doing really well for a lot of people and I mean, the good thing about it is you can um, you can basically do this anywhere in the world Okay, depending on your niche and depending on, you know, what it's about. So, I always say this, you want to do a niche that you are passionate about or you have an interest in. Because if you don't have an interest in it, after like 10 videos, you're just going to give up. And you need to basically do this for at least 12 months before you even see any traction. So, you know, if you're not interested in the subject, you are not going to succeed. It's like going out with a girl on a date. If you, if you don't even like her, like, you don't even have interest in her, right? There's no point going on the next date. So you must either be your passion, so it doesn't feel like a job. It just, it's just, you just love doing it. And and then eventually, you know, you can become, uh, you can get a full-time income from doing it. So it's like, it's like doing the thing that you love and you're going to get paid for it, right? So that's... That's what you kind of want to think of when you pick a niche and it will get to that point if you stick it with it long enough. So the next thing I would say is it has to be unique. Now, obviously, it's a, a, whatever niche that you go in, I guarantee that it's, it's, there's already someone in that niche. It's pretty much all the things that are out there that are already being done, uh, already been done in some way. So, you know, you're, you're just if you just come along and just make another channel that's just like every other channel, you're not gonna, it's not going to do well. You need to bring something unique. You need to um, have your angle on it. Um, and one thing I always say is like, if there's a niche that's in a particular subject, well then you can do like um, your own uh, local type of um, angle on it or your own language or your own um, niche it down, you know? So it's, it's attracting an audience within either in that state, town, or country um, maybe not country state um, and then as you grow that channel you'll you'll branch out but either the, your language your authenticity um, you know there's all these different angles that you can take that uh, make your channel unique okay so it has to be different otherwise people will just go to any other channel but if it's unique they'll come to your channel and they'll stick with your channel okay the next point is um, to do that you can or some what you'll see this a lot. Or I'll give you an example soon. Is people throw the person like they become like the celebrity. Now this is for people that want to show their face. Now 
there's YouTube channels out there, thousands of YouTube channels out there that do not ever show their face and they make tons of money. So this may not be for you, um, but even just not showing your face and just um, showing, um, putting your personality, people can hear your voice. Uh, you know, when you make jokes, they can, you know, they can sense your humor and your personality. Uh, I've seen it on many gaming channels that don't actually ever show their face, but they always talk and people can relate to them and that's how they connect them so personality either showing your face or not and then what I've also seen is um, they have like a partner their girlfriend or their wife you'll see this with traveling blogs travel bloggers they they, they, they do like a, a team and they're very popular but then again that's not necessary you um, it's just another thing that they do right it, they are popular but it's not hundred percent because there's heaps of other bloggers out there that haven't they don't have a partner and they're um in the hundreds of mil uh, they're in the millions of um subscribers so it's not necessary at all don't think that you need a partner to be successful with it some people even bring their families you know they have their partner they, they have their uh, kids their baby they have their um mom the dad so these are the different angles that you can take all right so just start to think of the top player niche and then you can break it down a different uniqueness add your personality you can even bring your family into it or even do it with a friend have you and another friend both in the same subject and you both kind of do stuff on the channel there's, there's, there's so many different ways you can spin this right you just have to be creative okay the fourth point next would be the um, physical setup of your YouTube channel so this one depends on where you are uh, to 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 the niche, right? Or relate to the niche. For example, if you're like a gaming channel, then you can game anywhere in the world. So you you're not tied to uh, your state or your your apartment. You can you can do this anywhere in the world. They're not going to know where you are because you you play games online. You literally just need a laptop. You need like um, it's really fast internet connection and like a microphone. And you can literally do this anywhere in the world and make an income from it. Um, because they don't know where you are. You, you're just a dude on, on a gamer. They'll never, you don't even have to show your face. So that's one niche where it's not dependent on your location. But then again, if you have like a, a, a cooking channel, you can't just pick that up and go anywhere else. I mean, you can. There's ones that do them in the forest and stuff like that. But there's they have teams of people that you know but like I'm talking like a cooking channel someone that does it from their home although that's probably a good idea um, you do it out of your home but you know unless you're not at home you can't do your videos so it's kind of like you're kind of like restricted to your home so just have a think about where what what niche travel bloggers they they don't they have to travel they can't stay at home um, they're the opposite they have to leave their home and they have to go out and um, see the different places in the world whatever islands country whatever they are they're travel bloggers and they that, that's what they need to do the physical setup will usually set up will usually dictate the niche that you're in so pick pick one that you're comfortable with I would say the fifth point would be um, so this is a really important one this is one that I discovered that I didn't know it at the first but this is really important when you first like it if you want to start your YouTube channel and you want to grow it really fast, don't try to be general. Don't try to be everything like a, a jack of all trades. Really focus on the one thing and niche it down. Because um, if you do that, you you will um, grow your channel root faster. Because your channel um, and only talk about that particular thing. I'll give you an example. There's a guy that I follow on YouTube um, because I'm interested in what's happening in the Ukraine war. And he's a guy that speaks English. He's a pilot. He no longer has a, a, a job because of obviously the war. And now he does YouTube uh, videos of about what the, ha what the progress every day. He has a daily vlog of what's happening in Ukraine. But he does it in English. So he's Ukrainian, but he talks in English. He has good English. Obviously, he's a pilot. He speaks English fluently. He's quite um, smart, and that's his little niche. So his niche is reporting on the war uh, about what's happening in Ukraine from someone that lives in Ukraine without the propaganda, without the BS, and then 
um, he reports uh, in English because there's a lot of people in England in outside in the West that want to listen to what's happening, but they don't want to necessarily listen to the news because the news is not 100% uh, true sometimes. So he, he is a, a vlogger that's actually on the ground and that's his little niche. And he's, he's grown to his niche to at least a quarter of a million very, very fast. So that's, that's one example. So focus on one thing and it could be a trending topic. You could start there, but obviously you branch out as you grow. And then another thing would be, um, which I kind of like mentioned already, which was the, you want to start on like the main niche, um, kind of like narrow down that niche and focus on that one thing. But as you grow and then you start to get your channel into 10, 20, 30, 40, 50,000, 100,000 subscribers, then you can branch out into sub niches because um, you've got such a big audience now, it doesn't matter. You're not going to lose people, you know, so you just kind of branch out. So, for example, if you do like a cooking channel and you've always done cakes, right, and you grew your channel for the first year doing cakes and desserts, then after that, once you get a really big audience, then you would branch out to um, like you know, other things like um, lunches, uh, I don't know, I'm just making this up, dinners. Um, roasts, um, you know, all the different other food groups, but you originally started um, and grew your channel in the cakes and desserts. Okay, that's because of like some one sort of example. So let's just go to the um, YouTube and I'm going to show you some channels that kind of like are on my feed and then I'm going to show you a breakdown exactly how these people make money. Okay, so these are just some of the channels that are just showing on my um, news feed and I'll. Um, go into them um, okay so this one here this is like a uh, music channel and um, they bas basically just stream video, uh, music 24 7 and it just shows like obviously a thumbnail like this you know obviously that's going to attract people um, and you can see it it's just live they just stream music 24 7 and then that's how they get the views um, they get the music from somewhere um, they get it so then they're not copyrighted they give all the credit, and then, um, yeah, that's all they do. So that's that. And you can just leave this play 24-7. People play this 24-7 on their stereo or on their iPhone or whatever. And that's that's why these are popular. Another one here is um, Father. She is um, a the girlfriend of this other guy. He's in Thailand, so that's, that's how I know her. I don't know her directly, but that's how I know of her channel. Um, her the guy that her partner is, uh, chocolate, was a chocolate man in Thailand, and she, he basically got her going with YouTube. She does a thing with him. They're both like a couple that they travel Thailand. That's her there on the left. And now she's got her own channel, um, which is, she's pretty popular as well, actually. Let's just go and see how many subscribers she's got. 1,500 subscribers, which is not too bad. It's pretty good for a channel. She's only just started. So that's how she does it. There's another one there that um, just does, um, gets videos. They get all these videos from, um, f uh, source, source these videos offline, online for free. And then they just play music over it. I think I just showed you one there. This guy here, um, Make Money Matt, he does um, YouTube stuff as well. He's also got some good information. He's only a young kid. He's already got um, several channels and he's doing well. This one here, it just looks like a game, this uh, Roblox or whatever it is. It's pretty popular amongst the kids. Um, and this, like I said, these gaming channels are massive. Let's just go and have a look at how this one works. Um, so this one here, Chills, he's got 260,000 subscribers. And he's a gamer, and all he does is play this game. That's it. Doesn't even show his face. He would be making like oh, it's getting a thousand subscribers a day. He's got five hundred thousand views a day. Holy cow, that's that's massive. So he would be making anywhere from thirty to fifty thousand a month, easy with those that with that type of view. Because if you look at the daily views and then you look at like the lowest um, RPM, which is um, views per thousand, is about two dollars. So that's how you can tell. So if you go 540,000 times 
two dollars five hundred forty four thousand and then you divide that by one thousand which is five hundred forty four then times two dollars he's, he's easily making that's lowballing it too he's easily making one thousand dollars a day that's thirty thousand a month very easily um, and that's he's also got a member channel as well so you can become a member pay money Right, so he's probably making, I don't know, probably maybe fifty or seventy thousand a month. And look at it; it's so it's so dumb. It's just like a, a game. You know what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. Gaming channels—they're huge. Obviously, Mr. Beast. You've seen him. He's probably the one of the biggest on YouTube. He's got like, oh, I don't know how many subscribers now, but it's in the millions. It's probably like, I don't know. Let's go and have a look. He's he's massive. He's been doing it for like six or seven years. Um, yeah, it's got 18.3 million. So he'd be making some absurd amount of money. I think I think this guy makes like 300 or something million a year. No, I don't know, I could be wrong. This one here, this minority mindset, he's he does wealth, so he's like an Indian guy. See, see, this is what I'm talking about with him. He has got really good content, by the way. His name's just just Pit Singh, and he's really really smart. Don't. Don't um, let the just looking at him going. Oh, he's just an Indian dude. He's not. He's very smart, um, and he's got a very good channel. He's got a hundred one. Wow, one point three three million, and he basically talks about um, uh, financial literacy, creating wealth, real estate, and stuff. So he's very good. I really do like his channel, and he's pretty cool too. So he talks English. He's got. He doesn't talk Indian. He talks English. Definitely um, subscribe to his channel, Minority Mindset. He's awesome. Okay, um, so you can see a lot of these channels here. It'll just give you an idea. A lot of them are news channels as well. Some of them are just gaming channels. See, all these gaming channels, they're all making money. It's crazy. Crypto channel, this guy here, uh, he talks about solar. So his whole thing is solar. Obviously, you know, if, if you're interested in that and you've got a system to set up, He's got 208,000 subscribers, so his whole thing is solar. Obviously, you'd take, it would take a while to get to that, you know, possibly four to five years doing that. Another one here I've talked about before, Chris, he does um, YouTube channels, uh, YouTube videos of Thailand. He's from Canada, and he also brings his um, wife and his daughter into it every now and again, so that's what I'm talking about, the family aspect. This one here, Fire Hustle, that's uh, her name's Summer. She's like a chicken crypto. So this is this is what I'm talking about with um, uniqueness. There's not many um, girls doing crypto, and her channel is growing really fast. So that's what I mean. She does. She's she's a woman. There's not many of them. She puts her own spin on it. She she's quite knowledgeable, and um, you know I watch her channel as well. And then here, this one here, this is a good, bad, uh, and Philippines. So this is a guy. I think his name is Paul. He lives in the Philippines. He married a um, Filipino, uh, young Filipino wife, actually. She looks like half his age. And um, he does uh, vlogs on um, on Philippines. Um, he's from America, so he, that's his kind of little thing. He's American, and then he, people come to uh, Philippines and interviews uh, people, as well as talks about everything about the Philippines, how to, you know, obviously how to live costs you know cost of living and everything about the philippines and he also um interviews a lot of uh expats for um you know uk american um australian whatever that come to philippines he also interviews them yeah he's pretty good i, I like his channel okay so that's it this video is already long already but i hope i gave you some ideas on how to uh, pick your niche and you just need to be creative give it some thought and uh, before you pick it, because before, when you start, you, there's no turning back. You need to stick with it, because if you if you change halfway through it, you're going to lose a lot of time. So if you if you're not um, sure, if any questions, feel free to comment below. YouTube is a great way to it's it's almost like the aus the most awesome way to be able to do the thing that you love and get paid for it. It's like the ultimate way, in my opinion. Yes, it takes a long time, but things that take a long time to grow are often the best. So, thanks for watching to the end. I appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to the channel because I'll be dropping more videos on how to grow your YouTube.
series and I'll see you guys in the next video.